everyone, it's Sarah from Nova Scotia. I'm doing a painting today on a 36 by 48 canvas. It's huge, look at this thing. I have it on a spinner and this, on a board on the spinner to keep it sturdy. And um, I'm gonna do probably about 16 flip cups, I'm guessing, and we're gonna spin it out. And um, I'm using all my most favorite colors. I'll show you. I'll have the names of these in the description, but I kind of line them up like in, by color, we got some white and cream and some metallic-y peach and rose and stuff here, all the way into some purples, magenta, and then a bunch of blues. And this is sort of a blue. It's a metallic silver with blue in it. Um, so I'm going to be doing some high contrast and low contrast areas on here, probably high contrast in the corners and through the center. And then between those, I'm going to go lower contrast to kind of make things pop a little more lower contrast I'm going to pick more of my medium um, shades of color and uh, obviously the opposite for the high contrast high contrast you want the most extreme um, color changes so you're going to pick the more um, dark and light colors together so say like you're going to have a really high contrast if you use say, say this dark blue with the white that's huge but you're going to have less contrast say if you use like these two you know what I mean so and if you have trouble figuring out like how dark your color is compared to the other color. I mean, sometimes it's obvious, but other times it's not. You can just take a picture and put it in your photo editor and turn it into grayscale, and it just it just makes it super easy. All right, so I'm gonna use a black base. And um, we'll probably have little bits showing up here and there throughout. It gives it more contrast, which is great. I find when I put black in the cup and mix it, it just ends up making gray which I've done and it was because I wanted gray to happen, but usually I, I don't and uh, I just don't like the way it shows up. It ends up making a big, huge black spot in places and it just doesn't seem to want to be even. So I find if I just do a black base and then leave some negative space from it, then it's perfect.
colors look so good together. I'm really happy with this. Oh man, I can't wait till this dries. It's gonna be so nice. And here it is dry.